Hi everyone, it's Joe from Grow Big TV. So my oregano is starting to come up, so I've been trimming a little bit, but now it's time to get the soil ready so we could have a bountiful season. Now, what do I add? What did I add? What do I add to my soil? But first, I must irritate the soil a little bit. So I've been trimming back a little bit, and you must come through here because it could be really, like really root bound and I don't want that I want to clean I want all the nutrition I put put it back into the roots so the microbes can work I want this swell nice and fine so one thing I do is rake a little bit and I worked on that already just going back and forth now what's great about cleaning this up guys is you're gonna find some runners and what do I mean by runners just put that there for a second. So sometimes you're going to be able to find a new plant. Boom. So, and I'm going to find one right now for you. For example, over here at the edge of the pot. Go down here for the root. Look at that. I got a new oregano plant. Boom. And they can run different kind of ways. For example, look, this, this root goes sideways, right? Boom, another plant. I mean, this is awesome. So you could find a lot, uh, you could add to your oregano plant just right, right in the spring. I mean, how can you beat that? Now, oregano needs full sun, at least six to eight hours, typically around 60 to 80 degrees to really grow though it cannot be waterlogged because that leads to rot and about yeah a cup of water every 10 days you need at least a cup of water but it's great for companion planting too especially with tomatoes and uh, it fights off cucumber beetles and cabbage butterflies and uh, it's great to be companion plant with cabbage broccoli cauliflower cucumbers lettuce peppers pumpkin zucchini I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a great thing. So the big thing for, for growing this year is to add microbes to the garden. So by like using your leaf mold now, leaf mold's been in here from last year and I had a little bit, as you guys can tell already. And uh, well, after that, I like to use a compost tea. And I like to add my azomite. Azomite takes typically a year to work. That's your trace minerals. And so I like to add that every year. So here, I'm gonna show you guys what I like to add. So I use a Recharge Instant Compost Tea. This stuff is amazing. So I'm gonna show you the back. So Instant Compost Tea, $9.95 a short grow. And I mean, just all these added ingredients um, for micro. So look here, applications. Use a half a teaspoon per gallon of water every seven to 10 days for high performance applications. It's uh, compatible with, with any fertilizer program. Now I do like to add chicken manure too. So that's the instant compost tea. And see, look compost tea <laughs> and I also like to add a little fox farm bush doctor which is your microbe brew micro brew for maximum microbe activity used within two years and I mean look at this this is awesome stuff guys shows your NPK also, your iron, magnesium, iron, manganese, and zinc. That's where it's derived from. Castings, baguano. I mean, boom. So look at the mycorrhizal content. It's everything you want to add. I also like to add my asthma, like I said before. That's your trace minerals. You don't need too much of this stuff at all. If you think this is going to work on your plant in one year, it doesn't. I mean, you can say it does, but my studies and 
the contacts I made. I think it's just a. Uh, I, I just think it's kind of made up. It's a sales gimmick. I also would like to add compost biochar. That's what I'm adding. I'm mycorrhizal fungi. Hey, I'm a fungi. Let's add the compost and biochar with the fungi to it, right? So uh, compost and biochar with mycorrhizal fungi naturally increases microbial activity. It helps with seed germination and strengthen roots. So I'm adding that. And I'm also adding a little bit of just organic potting mix. So I'll enhance worm castings and root boosted mycorrhizal for indoor, outdoor planting. Great for herbs, veggies, fruits, and flowers. So I'm adding a little bit of that. I also continue like to uh, with the biochar, you need your. I like to add worthworm castings and compost so they could char up or bio up with the char. And, and just a little dose of chicken manure. And I really don't need this, I just like to add it. Just a little bit. And all I do. How I made a little pot is a little bit there. Earthworm castings, biochar, and compost. Oh, here's the biochar. Got the last one before was earthworm castings. And just a little bit of azomite. And from there, I just like to mix it up. There's more here than that, just for this little pot. I'm just doing a top layer. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. I mixed up there. And all I'm going to do is add some in. All that leaf mold going on. I'm going to spread it out. Look at that. Look at that mix. It's really windy here in Jersey. And there we go. The only thing I have to do now. Mix it in the soil a little bit. Again, you don't want this waterlocked, so this is perfect. Now, do I need to do all this stuff? No, I think it will come and grow back. But I'm just trying to grow the healthiest stuff I can. I got some more plants back there. I can move out too. compost tea and then put it on on a plant but around the plant Whoop. Whoop. not easy doing this by yourself and just mix it in a little bit Nice, clean, fresh, healthy. Macros are gonna work. And there we go. So that's how I um, replenish my soil for a great oregano season. I'll take care, everybody. 
thanks everyone for watching this. Hopefully you get a little bit out of it. But microbes are a key to great vegetables and have great healthy you. Um, so hopefully this helps you out. Give it a try. Take care, everyone.